Hello everyone, hello YouTube, this is Felipe, o Gato de Salto, and today I'm here to explain to you the Samba Enredo of Mocidade 2022. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I try to bring out a new video every week talking about samba, carnival, parades, costumes, feathers, glitter, everything. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment and share this channel with all of your samba enthusiast friends so we can make our community grow. Today I continue the series talking about the samba enredos of 2022 and today we'll talk about Mocidade Independente de Padre Miguel. And before we even start talking about them, please remember, be nice to me. I am not a historian, I'm a, not an anthropologist, I am not a social worker and study um, all these intricacies of my culture and my people. I'm just passionate about samba and I'm trying to help you understand a little bit more of what you're gonna hear and see in the parades of Mocidade. Now this song, I have to say, you have to excuse me if I make mistakes, because this song is so difficult. I took so much time researching about it, because Mocidade is talking about Oxóssi, and Oxóssi is an orixá. So you can exp expect a lot of Yoruba words, a lot of references to this god, to this orixá, Oxóssi, orixá of hunting. I also made a video about him and all other important orixás that I know. Um, in this channel, there's a playlist about the orixás and I'll leave the link to Oxóssi's video right here. But yeah, let's start because this is going to be a fun one. And there's so much, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. There's so many cultural elements in this song that I'm so excited to explain to you. <laughs> O que aro? O fada mira certeira. O que aro is already a salutation to Oxóssi. O fa is the bow and arrow, so the instruments of a hunter. O fa da mira certeira. Mira is the aim, so o fa da mira certeira. Arrow and bow of the accurate aim. Dono da mata, owner of the woods. Okay, okay, again the salutation. Mutalambo is another entity of hunt, is an kissi. Um, it's a, they are spirits or an object in which a spirit inhabits. Also mainly found in Central Africa. Seu ageum já preparei na quinta-feira. Ageum is the communal meal within the terreiro de Candomblé or de Umbanda, so the Umbanda temples or the Candomblé temples is when all the community members get together and eat. Ageum. So, seu ageum já preparei na quinta-feira. I've already prepared your ageum last Thursday. No fundamento a batida incorporou. In its fundament, the beating of the drums incorporated. <música> Sambore, Pemba, Folha de Jurema. Sambore is samba, is being happy, hopping around. Pemba is when the priest, the priest or the priestess or someone gets a piece of chalk and draws on the ground the magical seals either to invoke or to please a specific spirit or an entity or an orisha. E folhas da jurema is a type of herbs from jurema. And this is already the first. Uh. Jurema is one of the caboclos. Um, and the caboclos, they are spirits of indigenous people. Okay, so deceased indigenous people who, and they are believed by the Umbanda religions that they are here in this earth to help us human beings evolve. So just like the issues in Pombagiras and the Pretos Velhos, 
there are also the caboclos. Please check my video about Umbanda so you know a bit more what I'm talking about. And Jurema is one cabocla. She is an indigenous, but she knows her way with herbs. So Folhas da Jurema is a specific herb and um, yes, called the leaves of Jurema. A proteção de Ogboju Ode and the protection of Ogboju Ode. Ogboju Ode was the first novel written in an African language and it tells mythological tales, if you want, of hunters. So again, the connection to Oshosi is very strong here. Pai Oshala lhe deu seu diadema and the father Oshala one of the Orishas, son of the Supreme God, so in the case of the religious secretism, that would be Jesus, gave him his diadem. Quem rege meu ori governa minha fé, and the one who rules my ori, my head, my, my mind, rules my faith. Nos idileis a ancestralidade. Idileis are the families of Orishas, so in those families the ancestry. O Alaketo no Egbe da Mocidade. Alaketo, it was the king of the city of Ketu. The city of Ketu is located in modern day's Republic of Benin, but it's said that Oshosi was one of the kings, one of the first kings of the city of Ketu. And the Ketu is one of the oldest Yoruba speaking cities in the world. So o Alaketo no Egbe da Mocidade means the king of Ketu, in the Egbe, Egbe is the society, in this case the Samba school, of Mocidad. Oxóssi é caçador de uma flecha só. So Oxóssi is a hunter of only one arrow because there is a myth that says, please watch the video, that he managed to achieve something great by using only one arrow. Herdeiro de Emanjá, irmão de Ogum. So it's heir of Yemanjá, another Orixá. Irmão of Ogum, brother of Ogum. Aquele que na cobra dá um nó. The one who is able to tie a knot on snakes. And this is so funny because as I was doing the research for this video, I came across um, an article from the BBC. There is a viral diseases that affect snakes in which snakes keep staring to, the, to heaven, to the sky, and they contract, especially contracting um, constriction snakes like um, pythons and anacondas and they tied themselves into a knot for no apparent reason perhaps this virus so it's almost magical it's almost like he's the one that the, the owner of the forests um, the ruler of the forest and the hunter who is able to give a knot on the snakes and this is here present in the lyrics so exciting aquele que na cobra dá um nó aquele apaixonado por Oxum so the one who is able to tie a knot on snakes and the one who is in love with Oxum yes, that's part of the stories it's all in my video about Oxóssi Oxóssi é caçador de uma flecha só herdeiro de Emanjá Irmão de Exu. So they repeat, heir of Yemanja and brother of Exu, this time, another Orisha, the Orisha of paths and ways, streets and roads. Aquele que na cobra dá um nó, aquele apaixonado por Oxum. So the one who ties knots and snakes and is in love with Oxum. <música> Ibualama o mar travessou. Ibualama is the Orisha of deep waters, so he crossed the, the sea. No Gantua virou seu Jorge Guardião. And in the Gantua, which was a terreiro, was a temple in Bahia, um, where religious syncretism was also very strong, uh, he became seu Jorge, Saint George, Guardião, the, guard, the guardian. <clears throat> Um rio inteiro em teu nome, so a whole river was baptized after him, 
meu senhor, my lord. And it's true, there is a river called San George. Quem é de Oxóssi é de São Sebastião. So those who belong to Oxóssi belong to São Sebastião. What do you mean belong? Um, it's just like having a guardian angel. Everyone has an orisha. So if you have Oxóssi as your regent orisha, you have San Sebastian because San Sebastian um, is the equivalent of Oxóssi in the Catholic Church after the religious syncretism. Are words present in a ponto. A ponto is a chant that is sang for a spirit or an orisha. And in this case, these words are in a ponto, in a chant, sang for the cabocla jurema, the jurema spirit, the one I explained not long ago. Caboclo la da jurema é cacique nesse conga. So the caboclos, the spirits of the deceased indigenous people from jurema's tribe, are cacique, are chieftains in this conga. Conga is the altar in the candomblé and umbanda. O jureme, o jurema, again, mandinga de tia Chica fez a caixa guerrear. Mandinga is a spell, sorcery, of tia Chica. And tia Chica, she was not, she was a preta velha. She was the spirit of a deceased slave. Made caixa fight, caixa the instrument. Inverteu meu tambor. This is probably my favorite. It turned my, my drum upside down. Now, inverteu meu tambor can also be inverted my tambor, inverted my drums. And the, the biggest characteristics of mocidade is that the surdos one and two, the first and the second surdos, are inverted. So instead of going boom, 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 like every samba school, it is inverted at mocidade. So if you hear the inverted surdos like boom, 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 you know that you're already hearing mocidade. And it is said that these drums um, are, have, a, have a straight connection to the West African drums. So, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I, this is so exciting. I love this. So Chia Shika Sorcery inverted made the kasha an instrument of war and inverted the drums of Mocidade, which is very cool. De Dudu e de Koe, foi Quirino, foi Mikimba. Now these are four mestres of bateria from Mocidade who are very well known. And these four mestres, um, Quirino was one of the most well-known cuica players of all times. And Mikimba was the person that invented the third surdo. The one that goes boom, 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 boom. So he is the one who invented this surdo together with Mestre André, which is a legendary mastery of samba or bateria. We'll talk about him in a minute. But he, Mikimba, was always playing in between surdo one and surdo two. So together with Mestre André, they decided to create the, sam the surdo de terceira, so the third surdo. Highly interesting topic here. Then we move on to the next mestre mentioned, de Georgian Uaguere. Georgian is a mestre who introduced the Aguere. Aguere is a rhythm played for Oshossi. I'm going to leave a link in the description box of this video for you to hear the Aguere because the, 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 because the rhythm of the Bateria of Mocidade is the rhythm of the Aguere. And the patron orisha of Mocidade's bateria is Oshossi. So it's very nice to see and to know that they are playing this African rhythm that was used to, to adore this orisha. Really, really nice. Fez do Agidavi a baqueta da nossa gente. And he made the Agidavi. Agidavi is the drumstick used to play um, atabaki, so the candomblé drums and umbanda drums. A baqueta da nossa gente, so he turned it into a popular drumstick. 
para evocar nesse terreiro toda a alma independente. To evoke in this terreiro, so temple of Candomblé Umbanda, also the Samba school, in this case, the souls, every soul who is independent. Very nice. And then the chorus. <música> We have here again words of salutations for Oshossi, Arere, Komorude, Arole is air. And then the last sentence, Todo Ogan da Mocidade, Ogan is within Candomblé and Ubanda, are the drum players. They are chosen by the drums. They are very, you know, sacred people as well. Todo Ogan da Mocidade é cria de Mestre André is a son, is a disciple of Mestre André, who was this legendary ma Mestre de Bateria, who um, in, he invented the breaks. You know the break when the Bateria stops and then restarts? That's Mestre André. He's, it's his invention. So together, the breaks, the, the surdo de terceira, Mestre André revolutionated the entire samba and it made it to what we know today. So it's very nice to have Mocidade sing about him and sing about Oshossi. I hope you enjoyed this explanation. I'm going to leave you with this beautiful song and see you next time with another video from our Samba world. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>